Hey, what's it? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Siokoti. And on today's um, video, it's going to be a bit different. So I am doing a movie slash series talk with Sia today. But it's going to be a bit different because I'm going to be talking about my favorite uh, movies. Let's just say top five and then my, also my current favorite series. So yeah, before we even get into my fave movies and my favorite series, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to so become part of the CD family. Anyway, let's just get into the... Alright, so one thing that I did, right, uh, I made sure to write everything down. Because, well, I, I, I don't want to leave anything out, you know. So I wrote uh, some of my favorites some of my favorite movies down and i will i wrote some of my favorite series so please excuse me if it's like yeah oh well so yeah so the first one the first movie i'll start with the movies first and then i'll end with the series okay so the first movie is a safe bet so a safe bet is actually showing on show max it's about a lady who is looking for love she was in a serious relationship but because of her career she wasn't focusing on her relationship right so as a result she breaks up with her boyfriend of that time and then she goes to church this thing of church ne? as she goes to church uh it's her mother's church so she goes to church one sunday and she the pastor is like please come forward you know so the pastor is like you are going to find a husband with the same name of Kamini. so now we all know Kamini is no disrespect but it's, 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 it's like it's huge you know it's there's a lot of kaminis about so any person can be a dummy but anyway so she she is set on that thing that she's going to find her husband the exact she is looking for anybody and whose surname is lamini you know she's looking for a guy whose surname is lamini and she's looking to date Utamini because the pastor said she's going to get married where to a Tlamini guy so now she is looking for that person until she now starts dating somebody whose surname is not she doesn't know but whose surname is not particularly Tlamini and he uses his mother's surname so as a result they start dating and then on her wedding day she leaves the guy at the altar and then Hey, it's a whole mess and then goes um she she becomes a runaway bride with a different guy who's sending was Lamini. now when things don't work out because this one guy was treating her like an egg he was treating her like a queen but because she was also looking for money she wanted a person with money she wanted a person who was driving a certain car and she got all of that but then uh, the problem is the guy did not treat her right so now she ran away with the with the guy and then came to the realization for no man you know what my my man my previous man who sent him did he whom he sent him was not lamini treated me well he was the best guy and at the end she went back so yeah that's one of the movies that i would highly recommend you guys watch so the second movie is umnisa mvula so here the language is is zulu but then um there are subtitles this movie is also showing on um on showmax umnisa mvula so now this man um he had a wife but they didn't have children so now this man his wife falls pregnant and he he dreams about uh having a son who has a special gift you know who is going to to help the family so the son has a special gift but unfortunately the son is born blind as a result he was like no this child is not mine i do not want this child um i would also refer if you guys know the story of moses in the bible it's it's similar to that story but it's not the story of moses but it's similar in in a way you know so the son is found by the river by a different woman who decides to raise um zane as her own child you know so he, she raises zane and zane grows up he becomes this young man but then because we know in the african culture especially if it was in the olden days if you were blind it was like a, it was in la it was like a curse but it yeah it was like a curse so everybody in the village was treating him badly and he was he was he was labeled 
uh, yeah a lot of things you know so yeah eventually that valley kaisoka meti it didn't it, it was stricken with drought and the name um the the village of where his father was staying so now they were staying in a his ane had now he was now staying in a different village with his new parents his new family but then that village always had rain because zane could make it could make it rain onatsiba ho ni sapula okay so he knew how to make it rain so now as a result he his valley had green pastures they had uh, water and the other village was suffering because balasa toli pula they didn't get any rain so yeah eventually the thing the his secret came out for it he's the one that can bring rain he's the one that has been making it rain in their village so they are no longer going to kill him because now hey guys this is a is a is a very complicated story because zane was in love with the princess and now this prince was in love with the with the princess so the prince was jealous of zane so he created this entire story this entire lie to get zane killed by the community but his gift saved him and finally the truth came out you know so yeah that's the second movie it's also showing on showmax so it's a must watch it's one of my favorite movies because you know it plays with the heart i don't want to lie you you go through a roller coaster whilst watching that movie but it's it's a good movie man so yeah that's the second movie and then the third movie talks it's it's premature it's a romantic movie it's premature it talks about ayana ayana is a girl she's a young girl you know she's just living her life um it's the summer before she goes to college or she goes to varsity and she meets this amazing guy you know this amazing guy is a producer but then we all know how it goes in the world of love you know it's a roller coaster there's it's just it's not one thing it's a roller coaster so now she met this wonderful guy that they have they have been dating for a while but then she falls pregnant right and she falls pregnant at a time where they were having their own refresh so ayana did not tell the guy that she was pregnant so she went ahead and got an abortion and um she, without informing the guy she went ahead and got an abortion um and then the guy found out so obviously it was a big fight he was like i had the right to know you know at least you could have given me the courtesy to tell me instead of me finding out from my cousin that you were pregnant you know so yeah but eventually they worked through their things they worked through they are nyaga nyaga but it's one of those movies it's one of those movies that leave you with a question mark did ayana end up going to college did she, did they get back together because the movie ends with them just sitting at the train station ayana is waiting for her train um to take her to varsity and the guy just decided to pitch up at the train station because well he still loves ayana so yeah it's one of those movies that leave you with a question mark so that's the third movie and then the fourth one is um one night okay ayana king premature i found it you know yeah give money getting in god come back give money getting put the link but um i don't know if it's pre it's somewhere it's anyway but yeah it, there's no official site where i found it so um another movie it's on show mix as well is one night wa police now <laughs> if you're looking to watch a movie about friends if you're looking to watch a movie about friends who are just having fun who are just you know having banter man you know between friends there's always banter but unfortunately in this group of friends the secret as well omong otsibela omong omong otsibela omong omong otsibela omong and there was even a friend yo guys there was even a friend who had a son with his friend but did not take responsibility so it it was a whole mess I got people shadow it was a whole mess. One night when Collis is just messy. So if you want to watch a movie that's just filled with mess, I would highly recommend you watch One Night Con Collis. So it's one messy movie. Honestly, I'm not going to spoil this one by telling you guys what's happening and all of that. But give me a give me a run, give me a 
all right and then another movie that i love i genuinely love this movie because i feel like it's a it's a beautiful love story man it's a beautiful love story even though like the guy died at the, at the end of the movie but i feel like it's a beautiful love story and i'm a sucker for love i'm a sucker for anything romance so as you can see even my favorite movies right now it's romantic movies it's romance movies so yeah i'm a sucker for love so uh the next movie is a journal to jordan now a journal to jordan is all about uh, a guy who wrote a journal to his son you know but then unfortunately he passed he passed away just after meeting his son he passed away in war Oh, well. so it's a movie about a soldier who falls it's actually a true story uh, a journal to jordan is actually a true story it's about uh, a soldier who fell in love and he fell in love with a woman who happens to be his mentor's daughter so he fell in love with his mentor's daughter and it was a beautiful love story man you learned about the different dynamics of love he believed he was more of a macho guy you know so he believed that a man is a is a provider is this is that and she was more of an independent woman so she was she was more of an independent woman and also she was a journalist so yeah that was another thing that was going on and to be honest man that movie it's one of those movies that you have to watch with a box of tissues next to you because if you're a crier like myself you are gonna cry so it's one of those movies that you have to watch with a box of tissues next to you with some snacks and a glass off or if you are not a warm person with a cup of tea or cappuccino where you're warm and snuggly genuine it's one of those movies it's it's a beautiful love story so that's all i'm gonna say about a journal to jordan but yeah, it's also a true story. If I've, as I've mentioned before, it's a true story, and I don't know if it's if it's still in cinemas at the moment. But yeah, and then the last movie that I'm going to be talking about is King Richard. So if you haven't seen the trailer already, come on, I know you she should have seen the trailer already for Queen richard or you should have watched the movie already hearing Richard is also one of my favorite because it's it's also a true story it's also a true story of, um it's the story of serena and venus williams father you know so it's the story about their father of how he coached them how he he had this entire plan for their life how they were going to become big stars in tennis how venus was going to break um the barriers but serena was going to be the star you know and since they were born since before they were born there was this entire plan for their life so it's also one of an, of an amazing movie it's touching there was there were times genuinely speaking but there were times when i was like no mm -mm. but all, all in all it's a it's a it's a it's an amazing movie so yeah those are the six movies those are my must watch six movies all right and then coming to series now i'm not a one thing i've realized off late is that i enjoy watching old series rather than series that are newly released you know so that's one thing that i've realized that i enjoy watching old series that um have been around for a while and all i have to do is binge watch from season one to season 12 or season one to season seven so these are my current favorites okay so an all-time i'm going to start with my all-time favorite my all-time favorite insecure so it has it is from season one to season five and it has a documentary after it season five was the last season okay and then there's a documentary i think it's the last dance i forgot what the documentary is called but as a black girl you have to watch insecure because more than anything you are able to relate to it more than anything you are able to relate to insecure so it's a must watch for anyone young 20s especially if you're in your 20s and 30s insecure is a is a definite must watch it talks about it it talks about isa Issa D who is going through the journey of life and she's navigating life 
she first started off in a different career and then ended up being an event organizer a big event organizer so insecure is a most definite watch as much as it um and funny enough the name insecure it, it somehow goes with the storyline you know isa was insecure but then at the end of season five she was now secure like the she wasn't she didn't have to second guess her every decision so that was also one of the highlights for me in the entire from season one to season five so highly highly recommend all right and then the second series it has two seasons running apparently it's supposed to have three but it has two seasons running but personally personally i i only recommend season one and i wouldn't tell you guys why i don't like season two but season one okay the wife right i've done reviews on the wife and i've told you guys that the wife is is from a book film the wife and then there is zandile the resolute but then it's still called the wife season two so but for me i would prefer to watch season one over and over and over again season two yeah but season one yeah you you guys should watch it season two at your own risk and then the next series that i'm currently watching um it suits i'm not sure how many seasons they do have but suits is uh one of the series that i'm watching i am at season four and um i like the chemistry between mike and harvey i love their chemistry it's just it's just amazing so if you enjoy a a series that is more about corporate it's not about anybody's personal life but it's about corporate so i would hide it suits is one of them to watch it's one of those series that i watch on a day when i don't feel like watching anything so yeah and then another one is lucifer <laughs> lucifer is a cross of um i don't know how to say it man but it's comedy it's supernatural it's it's an amazing series okay so it's from season one to season six i'm currently currently watching season six of which i'm a glad but i'm currently watching season six of lucifer and that's a good series i i don't want to lie i don't want to cap i don't want to do anything but that's a good series and then one of my favorites if you know me you know that i love this series if you know me if you know me and you know that i've watched this series more than i am okay i i'm proud to say i am proud to say i've watched this series more than once grace and at me now Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy. That's 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 all I'm gonna say. If you haven't watched Grey's Anatomy, what are you doing with your life? No, like genuinely, if you haven't watched this Grey's Anatomy, what what are you doing with with your life? It's fine. After this this video, laugh. After this video, go watch Grey's Anatomy season one. I kid you not. From season one to season twelve. Season 13, it net take a take. But season 14, they were, you know, they were picking it up. But Grey's Anatomy, I'm busy with the show like season 18 because, you know, there's, they're releasing new episodes every week. But, please, for my sake, if not for yours, if not for yours, for mine, go watch Grey's Anatomy. Literally, if you, you haven't watched Grey's Anatomy, what have you been doing with your life? So, yeah. Anyway, well, sweetie, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to become part of the sweetie family. Anyway, just go watch all of these movies. It's a Saturday. Long weekend, if it's like But it's a Saturday. Please, come through. It's Friday, today. This movie, this video is going to come out on a Friday. So tomorrow is going to be a Saturday. We have a Saturday and a Sunday to watch at least two movies and catch up on one series, you know? So, yeah. I know, was really, um, I hope you enjoyed the top six. Oh, the six. Um, no, it's fine. Nah, it's fine. Five series and six movies. So I've mentioned six movies and five series to watch, and those are my my must watch movies and series. Yes, I've watched some other movies, but those ones I personally 
personal those are my personal favorites so yeah anyway we'll see you. i will see you in the next video Mwah.